Hey Harmonizers, welcome to this video of what I've been up to the past couple days. That's Sorvi and his owner, Angela. And I went to the farm where there's a bunch of Icelandics and we did a little workshop. So you guys get to see Sorvi who's uh, right there with Angela right in the front. And then beside him kind of is Celia. If you guys remember Celia from my training videos, I think it was back in May she was with me. And you're going to get to see Skirpa too. So this is Sorvi. We were doing some confidence building stuff and some riding different things. So here's some of the confidence building things we did. That's Angela again with Sorvi. So they used a lot of stuff that you just kind of have around your farm. And uh, this is Skirpa. Remember Skirpa? She's with her owner now and that's her owner there. And here, for example, we used a tarp. We kind of tied it up on the arena and then used some jump standards to kind of put it with. So we were just trying to find ways that we could build confidence. And then here's Celia with her owner. And uh, you can see we just put some chairs together and then had the pool noodles on top. And then this is uh, Annette with Celia, again, just to show you some of the pool work that we started with as well. And then I'm gonna show you guys uh, Skirpa, that's Skirpa there riding with her owner going around. We were doing some different exercises. You can see her gating around. So we had them working on sitting and standing, which helps with balance and our legs, as well as just getting the horse comfortable with different postures that we're doing. And here is little Sorvi, little Chonker. We've been calling him Chonker Muffin. You can see how much better his can are starting to get with his owner doing some of that pole work. So he's gonna still stay with us for a month but uh, he went to the workshop with his owner. So this is a little look at the workshop we were doing at my farm. We did a building confidence for trail riding workshop. And the plan was to have gone on a trail ride on the second day on the Sunday, but because of the thunderstorms that were predicted for the next day, it was beautiful and sunny on the Saturday. So we did our trail on the Saturday. So the morning, what we did was some exercises to help get the group comfortable and build up the horse's confidence in the big group. So there were 10 people in the uh, clinic and then there were two staff, me and somebody else were um, riding to help uh, with everybody else. So that means that there were 12 horses. So it's a pretty big group. And one of the most important things is herd confidence. So you can see we're using my driveway as a little loop to go around on, and which is great because we're going by all the cars and everything like that. And we're in uh, one row and we're trying to work on herd confidence by having different people lead and then circling back so that way everybody gets kind of a spot on the trail at the front, at the back, and then as they rotate through the middle. So for example, here you can see Sorvi was kind of leading the way there as the big group is coming around. This is, just kind of shows you the other angle. You can see all the horse trailers there in the indoor arena in the back. And when, uh, when we're doing this exercise, we would ride kind of in the group and we're trying to stay a little bit together on the group to try to give the horses that feel of being close on the trail. Uh, some people lag behind, as you can see, there's some slower walkers than others, so it's always a, a little bit tricky. But we didn't want the horses running to catch up and things like that. We wanted them to have confidence with their own human and just staying on the trail and being able to stay in the spot in the line that they were put in. So we practiced, uh, you'll see me in the back there, and right now I'm kind of up in the front with Sorvi and I'm going to circle back so you can kind of see what that looks like. So basically now Sorvi is going to keep leading and keep going and I'm going to turn and I'm going to the back of the line. I break off the trail. And so this is a really good exercise you can play. You don't need to have as many horses as we did to play this exercise. But if you have a group of horses, you can practice walking away so both groups just stay walking the whole time because you're not trying to raise anxiety and I cut back and I end up in the back of the trail rejoining at the other end and so we did this so that way every single person got to have a turn at the front and got to try splintering off and returning to the back of the line and it really helps with building up that horse's confidence being anywhere in that group of horses because it happens pretty often that people say oh my horse can only be in the front or my horse can only be in the back or my horse can't lead or my horse 
gets anxious in the back, so it's really, really helpful with all of that. So we also practiced, uh, this is at the front here of the property, kind of going out towards the highway. The, there's a little snowmobile path there, and then the highway's on the other side of that. So it gets kind of noisy at the front of our property. So we practice going up there, riding out on the grass, and getting the horses used to everything out there. So that way we could see how they are around traffic. And of course, we took it up a little bit more of a notch because when we head out on the trails, they're public trails and we never really know how everybody's going to react. This is the, um, the other side that we came down. This is the other loop of my driveway that's got some trees and you can see my corner of my pickup truck there. Once so everybody came down the driveway here. And what we ended up doing was asking my husband if he could bring out his ATVs and four-wheelers and stuff so that way we could practice with some noise and see how things would go. So he's going to fire up his ATV. So you can hear it's a bit noisy. We've got dogs barking. ATV going. everybody's practicing walking by so we did uh, that with the ATV and then we also had them drive around with the ATV as well so sometimes objects are moving and sometimes they're stationary sometimes it's about the noise of an object sometimes it's that it's moving so we had them practice driving around and we could go as close or as far as we wanted to but we're trying to build up the horse's confidence with different things moving around different vehicles and the ATVs tend to be a bit noisier than, let's say, a car. Uh, a motorcycle also noisier than a car. And then my husband has some three-wheelers as well that are even noisier than the ATV. So as we're practicing people going to the back of the line and, and splitting off, we're also practicing with the different ATVs and things going around. And then we also practiced stopping and letting our horses eat and then being able to pick our horses up and not let them eat which is also a really important skill for horses to be able to have, to understand when they're allowed to have that snack and when they aren't. And you can see all the cars going by in the distance. So that's the highway. It's not a divided highway or it's not even a double lane highway, but it's a faster road. So there's people going by and sometimes big trucks go by. And so it's kind of a nice thing to ask our horses or allow our horses to have some grass and get used to all that noise as it's going by. And then being able to tell our horse, okay, now you're done eating grass. Let's go off and continue on our ride. So here is going between the three-wheeler and the tractor. And the ATV is running. It's pretty loud. So all the horses did a really good job here. So it's kind of a big squeeze. And it's pretty noisy as well, so we're testing out lots of different types of confidence there with the horses getting relaxed with all of those things. So they did really, really well. So in the afternoon, we headed off on our trail ride. So this is us heading out on the trail on the snowmobile path. But this time, we're not going on just your average trail. We are making our way to the ponds. So this is a little look at the forest on the way to the pond. And I actually have not been to the pond yet this year. So this was new for Alicia heading out here. It's a totally different path of where to go. And we end up in this one little area that's near the train tracks and some houses in the background. So it's always good to practice all the other skills of going by people and the ATVs because you never really know what you're going to have on the trail. And you can see it's a pretty big group that we had out with us. I tried to give you some shots of us out on the trail. You can see that Sorvi kind of second in command there. Alyssa actually walks pretty darn slow. And then here is the beautiful pond. Uh, we love it here. It's so pretty. It's a nice trail ride out to get to it. And everybody got to take their horses in the water. Some horses took a little longer getting into the water than others. But everybody ended up being able to to go in and have a little splash. Some horses really, really loved it. And uh, afterwards, getting our tack and boots back on and letting the horses have some grass, 
was actually a paramedic and a fire truck that went by, which is really weird, but there was a dirt biking accident. So that's a fire truck going by, which normally we would never see out here because it's really kind of off the beaten path. And so this was Alicia's uh, first time going into the water here at the pond. Love the water here, so lovely. And uh, she didn't do, she didn't have anywhere near a hard time as she did when she was at Happy Trails for the horse show doing the water there and the schooling. So I'm happy to see that that kind of paid off and she's happy to go through the water there. And I love, uh, love coming out to the spot. You can see somebody pooped in the water. That's that nice little, little spot I'm passing there. I definitely don't want to fall off in that spot because, uh, yeah, that's not so nice to be in. And uh, on the way home, we ended up, I didn't take any video because uh, we didn't know what was going to happen, but there was uh, a wasp nest that one of the horses stepped on and I ended up jumping off the horse that I was riding and we had a couple horses get loose and it was a little bit of excitement. Everybody was okay. All the horses were okay, but it was definitely a reminder of why you would want to have a helmet. So anyways, here we are back at the arena. This is day two of the confidence building workshop. And we put together a whole bunch of obstacles like this one where we've got some bridges lined up with some high rises and then some poles on the other side because sometimes the horses have to step down and go over logs and and it's a good exercise to test that. So you can see this horse really thinking about how do I figure it out and ends up thinking they should just jump over it instead. Um, she did end up redoing it a bunch of times. And then this horse here, I wanted to show you guys his little rear he came to my trick training clinic and ended up learning how to do all his stuff. So she wanted to show us his little rear. So I thought that was pretty cute. So here's some more of the exercises we did in our confidence building piece. We did some flag work and drag work. And here's one fun little teamwork exercise we did with the flag of riding circles around each other with the flag. So one horse is moving and one horse is standing still. So lots of different things that we've done over the past couple days, and it was a long weekend for us. So Monday's a, was a day of rest for me, and uh, coming up on Wednesday, I start the Become the Center of Your Horse's Universe course. So thanks for watching, guys.